Today we're talking about how to install an automatic fertilizing system into your drip system. Why fertilize and water separately when you can do both at the same time? Adrian Sanchez here for Sprinkler Warehouse. Let's get started. Fertilizer injection systems, also known as fertigation, work great with drip systems. You can also install them on sprinkler systems. Using fertilizer in a drip system can confine the fertilizer to right where it's needed, reducing excessive use of fertilizer and helping to eliminate contamination of nearby bodies of water. Let's talk easy flow lawn and garden feeder. Now this is incredibly important. You must have a hose vacuum breaker when using this system and it doesn't come with one. The hose vacuum breaker prevents the fertilizer from backflowing into your water system and contaminating your drinking water. If you are attaching this system to an existing drip system, chances are you already have a hose vacuum breaker on your drip system. If not, you really should, even when not using fertilizer. If your vacuum breaker is old, please purchase a new one. They can and do go bad. It's not worth risking your health over a few bucks. Now, I've got three different sizes of fertilizer drip tanks. This is the three quarter gallon. This is the one gallon and this is the two gallon. All three of these work the same and use similar connections. One thing that's different for each of the tanks is the maximum static pressure PSI. They each have a sticker indicating the maximum PSI. On the three quarter gallon tank and two gallon tank, it's 50 PSI. On the one gallon tank, it's 80 PSI. On the top of the tank is an adjustment knob that will let you adjust the flow rate for your fertilizer. You'll notice the inlet and outlet are color coded, blue for in and green for out. Unscrewing the top here, there should be a large O-ring either on the rim of the tank or inside the lid. It's in the lid. Either way is fine. These are your dip tubes. Uh, this is your agitator. Some people say that I'm an agitator. And this is your screen fitting for your outflow. Now, this is your hose bib connector. This one is brass. You may receive one that is plastic. Either way, they are built the same and they perform identically. Now, let's attach the tubing. Your fertilizing system arrives with black and clear tubing. Use the black tubing for the inflow side. I'm going to wiggle the black tubing onto the blue barb on the hose bib connector. The kit comes with two inline shutoff valves. Cut off a small section of black tubing. Wiggle in the online shutoff valve. Wiggle in the other side. You don't have to use all the tubing if you don't want to. You can cut it to the size you need. Personally, I prefer to use the entire length to give me the most flexibility with where I place the tank and when I'm filling it, etc. The tubing is inserted into the blue thing here. The blue thing is called a collet. It means socket. Push the tubing gently into the collet until it stops. Slight tug to make sure it's secure. Now let's do the outflow side. Use the clear tubing to connect green to green. I'm going to install a shutoff valve on the outflow side as well. The reason why there's clear tubing for the outflow side is so you can monitor the fertilizer. You need to use colored fertilizer. You run the system until the outflow turns clear, so having colored fertilizer is important. You may use food coloring if your fertilizer is not colored. Now that we've installed the tubing into the lid, let's uninstall it to make sure it's easier to screw on and off the lid. Press on the collet, pull out the tube, ta-da! Your fertilizing system arrives with three of these colored rubber washers called flow discs. You need to estimate the flow rate for your system. If you have less than 120 gallons per hour, you'll need to use one of these flow discs in order for your system to work properly. To estimate your flow rate, count how many emitters you have, separated by flow rate. Multiply the number of emitters by the flow rate and add them all together. For example, if you had 20 1 gallon per hour emitters, 20 2 gallon per hour emitters, and 20 half gallon per hour emitters, 20 times 1 equals 20, 20 times 2 equals 40, 20 times 1 half equals 10, 20 plus 40 plus 10 equals 70 far less than 120 gallons per hour. So I'll need a flow disc. 
The white one is for 60 to 120. The black disc is for 30 to 60 gallons per hour. And the red is for seven and a half to 30 gallons per hour. Since my example system uses 70 gallons per hour, I'll need to use the white flow disc. The disc gets installed in the hose bib adapter. On the inside of the swivel end of the adapter, there is a hose washer. Pull that out. You can use a flathead screwdriver if you can't grab it with your fingers. Then, shove this little disc down inside until it sits next to the lip in there. It's okay that it wiggles around a bit. Once the water starts flowing, the disc will be held in place. Once you have placed the appropriate flow disc, which may be no flow disc, you'll attach your hose bib connector to your drip head assembly. Specifically, you'll attach it in line after all other components of your drip head assembly. You don't want to run the fertilizer through any filter, pressure regulator, timer, and etc. You'll know if your system is working by seeing the colored fertilizer flow in the clear tube. What if you have no earthly idea what your flow rate is? Well then you're going to use the trial and error method. Start with no flow disc in place and see if your system works. If it doesn't, drop in a white disc. If that doesn't work, try the black. And last, if it still doesn't work, use the red disc. Now, adding fertilizer. If you are using one of the flow discs, you will need to dilute your fertilizer product. Four parts water to one part product. If you're not using a flow disc, you do not have to dilute the water and you shouldn't have to premix it either. So add your product. This fertilizing system uses any liquid or water soluble powders. You don't even have to mix the powder first. The Easy Flow mixes the product for you. Always top off with water. You need to get all the air out of the tank. Screw the tank lid on. Push the tubing into the collet. Remember, clear goes into the green or outflow side, and black goes into the blue or inflow side. When you start your system, you should see color flowing through the clear line. If you don't, make sure that your shutoff valves are open. If you still don't have any color, you may need to switch to a smaller flow disc. In the installation and operating guide, there are some charts to help you determine the feed rate and how many gallons of water necessary to use all the fertilizer in the tank. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse is everything for your irrigation needs, so your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens are lush and beautiful. And if you have any questions about any of our products, chat with one of our superb customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. For Sprinkler Warehouse, I'm Adrian Sanchez, the Sprinkler Warehouse Pro. Later, irrigator.